Hey, what's going on, Hyped Up Virgin Gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good today on the things I just feel like plugging and showing off today is going to be this Invitation Pikachu right here. Yes, Invitation Pikachu. Look, he's got a nice little top hat ready for Halloween. Got a ghost on. Look, an invitation especially for you, just for you for an occasion. If you open up the envelope, there is actually a little envelope, little thingy inside, a little letter. Very nice detail. Very nice touch. Pokemon, the Halloween plushies, they never fail that stuff. The Halloween stuff just does well in general. Anyway... I want to talk about this day. I know everyone and their mom is talking about it. I want to talk about it too because I have something just additionally to add to it as well. If you've been living under a rock and you don't know what's going on, Pokemon 151 came out last year. Very much a Kanto-themed set where just it's all Kanto all the time. No other generation. Just the original 151 Pokemon are going to be featured. Cool, whatever. No problem. It exists. I wish they'd do that. This is my complaint as on the fandom level of that. I just wish they would show that same love to other generations. I genuinely think... Like, look... Even if you don't like the newer ones, I think everybody universally can agree that it is about time they actually did something with the Johto region or the Hoenn region again. I really think that's not too much to ask. That's my main issue with all this 151 hype stuff where it just never ends, where it's only focused on those. Okay, that's just, that's my one thing. That's my one complaint. We're going to go forward with that. We're not going to talk about stuff. And no, we're not talking about unemployed Charizard today either. We'll get to what we're actually talking about here in a second. All the cards, okay, if you're also unfamiliar with what's going to happen, 151, all, a lot of the chase cards, like a lot of the art cards, are being vertically pushed up. They are going up at a very unnatural rate, and a lot of people are extremely pumped about this. Never you mind that people had zero issue calling it out when Japanese was doing that stuff, and there was Japanese chase cards just going for some stupid amounts. Yes, there were still some fuckboys trying to make some money off of this stuff. But ultimately, a lot of people were just like, you know what, this is kind of crazy, it's a little bit much, no one really did this with Japanese cards before, I was the first person, I was the first person pushing that stuff. Now it's English's turn, now English is going through that stuff, and 151 is going to be considered by many people the best set of the Scarlet and Violet era. I don't necessarily think that's the case, you're welcome to your opinion about that, but this is what's going to happen, and because the chase cards from the best set in the Scarlet and Violet era need to be expensive, people have made it expensive. I truly do think a few people bought some and resold them at a couple of high prices. People saw that and hype and FOMO kicked in to the point now where we've just got a bunch of cards from 151 going for some stupid high prices. And like, it's not even just like some of the special art rares. Like it is some of just the regular AR cards going for this. Well, let's take a look real. So this is right here on Z and G Emporium. They post this up today and they have a bunch of cards. It's not even talking about the out of work going to the welfare office Charizard. Okay. This right here is the, just the regular ones. Now, look, I will say this. Venusaur SAR right here, or excuse me, SIR in English, excuse me. It's selling for $295. That's one that was confirmed sold, and that's basically double what it's gone for before. I will say Venusaur is the best card in the set. It is probably the best art in the set. And this going for a little bit makes a little bit of sense to me. That $295, though, that's where your actual Charizard without a car needs to actually be at. That's where it should actually probably be sitting for the best chase card in the best set in Scarlet and Violet right this second. It should not be eight to 900 bucks. That is very unnatural, and I don't care what anybody says. The people that are selling this stuff, I'm sure, are having a great time. The people that are buying this, I'm just telling you, this is not where this is just going to fucking hang out naturally. That's not how this goes, and people are having their cake and eating it too when they're selling this to you. I'm just telling you that right now. Okay, but it's not just Venusaur, right? Venusaur is just propped up looking cool and that stuff. It's a great card, right? Zapdos is selling for 202 bucks. That's basically 1.5 times the price it was going for previously. And it's a beautiful card as well. A lot of the chase cards are going to start going for that. So we're looking right now at just SIR, special illustration cards, the big chase cards that are come from those sets. This makes sense, right? Then you start going over and then it just starts getting fucking goofy to me. Like the Squirtle IR card, like I don't, I still to this day, okay, I understand a little bit where like some of the art rare cards have some value to them. I get it. They're a little hard to grade. English quality is not that great. Bro, it's worth more than the Zapdos. Like, are you guys kidding me with this shit? Like, Squirtle is that much more popular. And I love this card. I think Squirtle is fantastic. But when you start seeing discrepancies like this, where a lower tiered card like this is worth more than an actual popular SIR card, then shit's just happening behind the door. And people that are willingly just throwing their money at this, you're welcome to do so. I just think you're making a very bad move long term. And if you wait a little bit, 
Like some of the, it just, this does not make any sense to me with this card. And I know it's been kind of pricey for a little bit. People will buy whatever the hell they want. Like it's more expensive than the Alakazam. Like it's more expensive than that. And people just gloat and just gush and come all over this card and talk about how great of a card it is. Selling for 200 bucks once again. And so basically the same as the Zapdos. It's gone up quite a bit. It's just being pushed because it's the thing to do. It got momentum. So what happened was is 151 was being pushed kind of anyway. People were very speculative about where it was going to be. A reprint happened. The reprint got consumed. Another reprint, in theory, could happen. More cards could pop up. But people are already speculating that's not really going to do anything because the demand for it is so high. And it's just, we're looking at this now. We're looking at like $200 cards from this shit. I mean, like, to be fair, it's been out for a year. But at the same time, like, it's just... The, the, the Squirtle, that makes absolutely no sense to me. But watch, this makes less sense. So right here is your Charmeleon card. Now look, I will say the Charmander and the Charmeleon card are great. And they look a lot better than the Charizard. Like, not even joking. I think those are absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with them. $280. 80 not 18 80 that That is insane. For cards like this, for actual AR, IR cards to pull, uh, people are going to say, the pull rate, the pull rate, just the pull rate, that, dude, that, I, I just, you're not fucking fooling me with that shit, man. That some of these cards should not be worth that much, and the pull rate argument could be easily swung at other things if people wanted to put the brain power into actually making that argument. And then last but not least, the Bulbasaur, very good card, it's awesome, is it worth like $200? Eh, I don't really think so, and I don't really think people should pay this, but hey, whatever, people are willing to pay $180 for this shit, go for it. What's weird about this whole correlation for 151, and what makes me think like this is just a like very isolated push-up, is it doesn't really affect the Japanese market. Now, let me fucking finish that for a second. I know people don't like Japanese cards as much as they say they do. You can pick up all of these cards for infinitely cheaper in Japanese, Korean, or any of the other languages that exist. It's, for, it, it's fine. I like those better anyway. Doesn't hurt me whatsoever. But what's crazy, what's actually weird about this, is all of these are more expensive than any Master Ball counterpart. That ex it, It's exclusive to the Japanese 151 version of that. It is far more expensive than any of those are going to be for, for any of that shit. You can pick up the starters, Master Balls, for next to nothing compared to a standard IR card that you can get in the English side of the market. That's insane to me because the amount of people that were pushing and hyping Master Balls was insane. You couldn't even get 151 Japanese in like a little while because people are so heavily hyped on that. Erica at one point was a $600 card, a $500 card because of how crazy hyped 151 in Japanese was. Everyone said the Japanese version of this was going to be way better, way more better, way more stuff. It's got Master Balls. It's got better printing quality. And now look at this. Look, look at what's happened. The argument has completely flipped to the other side. No one cares about how much easier something is to get. No one cares about like the language that it came in. Like, well, they do. They care about it being English. But people have completely swung that argument. And now they're just, they've forgotten Master Balls exist. They've forgotten about anything else. All they fucking care about is that these cards are valuable. And people are just riding that hype train all the way up to it. Now look. If you're selling these cards and you're making this money off that stuff, there's tons of people out there that are willing to buy these cards. It's not just fucking like make-believe or anything like that. There's people clamoring to get these cards. I've seen it firsthand. I've seen where people are desperate for 151 product. I showed a 151 ETB in my fucking video and someone was asking if I had that shit for sale. And I was like, fuck no. Not one person has ever asked me about anything Japanese related about my 151 or anything like that. And really... Really, only people have reached out about anything I have in English, which I'm not selling. I'm holding on to that stuff because I actually like collecting certain things in this hobby. That's what I like to do with this shit. But there's people that are already capitalizing and selling the 151 UPC, the ETBs, the Pokemon Center ETBs. Just that sucker's gone. Like, it, I don't think it's ever fucking coming back either. There is zero reason for that one to come back. I mean, it's not like Pokemon's going to mass reprint a bunch of them or anything like that. But. Pokemon could easily reprint 151 English, Japanese as well, and I just, eh, I think people are just like, a hype train is so hyped now, that I don't even necessarily know if that would do anything, because people so badly want something to happen, that it happened, now that's what happened with Evolving Skies, 
Fusion Strike took that turn, a fucking Lost Origin, a bunch of Sword and Shield sets. Sun and Moon's catching up on that. There's some Sun and Moon prices that are absolutely ridiculous. And not just the boxes either, where people are like, well, of course that happens to product. Like singles, singles, like single Pokemon cards in the English hobby are just going for something dumb. My whole point is I just think like it's, it's hype, guys. It's once again, it's just purely hype. I really do think a lot of that stuff is going to come back down at some point. Maybe not at the fucking low, low that it was before, but you're definitely going to have a chance to get some of these for a little bit cheaper. This is the current hype wave. If somebody told everybody that the fucking Terrazard from Paldean Fates was the card to get, everybody would fucking shift their entire attention over to that one too. That one's probably going to happen. The Bubble Muse already happened with that stuff, which is a great card. These are great arts. I'm very happy people like these cards. It's just... It's very clear what's going on that the secondhand market of that is taking full control over what's happening with the prices. And it, it's one of those things where we've watched this happen two or three times before. And for newer people here, th this will slow down at some point. This will actually drop down a good little bit. Those IR cards like the Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and the Charmeleon... I don't think that's going to last fucking at all. I just don't think that's going to be the case. Are they going to have some value because the Scarlet and Violet English like IR cards do have some value? Yes. I don't think it's going to be like that forever though. I mean like that's not even like really that crazy of a card to pull. The SARs, the SIRs are going to be the ones that make the most sense. That's going to be the ones people like. It's crazy to me that that Squirtle is even going for like a fraction of what like I, I, oh, man, uh, I don't know. It's a great card. It's cool. The Japanese market is what it is right now. I'm having a blast over there. I don't really care what's going on in that English side of the house. But just so you're aware, there's there's a lot of a lot of goofy shit happening right now on the English side of 151. Be careful. Be careful of the hype. Be careful of what you buy. If you truly like what you're purchasing, have fun with it. But there is a lot of good happening right now. Everybody kind of sees it, but a lot of people are benefiting from it, so they're not really going to say it's a bad thing. Everyone knows where it's coming from, and it's eh, one of those things. You ride out that storm, it'll be fine eventually. It's just, be careful. There's there's a lot of things going on right now with that that's not 100% natural. That's all I got. Appreciate it, Virgin Gang. See you later. Man, speaking of not natural, fucking Charizard over there. Whew, almost $1,000, huh? Yeah, I'm sure that's perfectly right.